Hello and happy Halloween. It is time for a little bit of a tutorial. I hope you enjoy my Halloween costume. It is to represent the light side or the positive side of the Queen of Hearts, which is why I did a heart on my lips. Oh, Maleficent had her hero arc instead of her villain arc. Well, I'd been writing about Wonderland and Alice in Wonderland and hero arcs and how, you know what, actually this is the perfect time to be talking about this. I just realized that. The tutorial. The tutorial is actually connected to a story and it's not even just the Queen of Hearts is the story, but an actual story. Sometimes people are painted as villains when they weren't. Sometimes manipulation tactics and harmfulness become the story and that story catches on because of the harmfulness being extraordinary. When horrible things happen, most people need someone to blame. The people who create those horrible harms will find scapegoats and issues to exploit so that they don't have to shoulder the damage. You want to think about how a narcissist functions. A narcissist goes out of their way to blame the victim so that nobody looks to them for the harm they created. Why am I talking about this at the same time as doing a tutorial about Sage? Good question. I just came back from a serious journey. I have not really spoken on it. I've promised to speak on it. There's a reason for me not speaking on it. And that is very simple. And that's that some things need time. There's more than one person involved in this story. I'm involved as a centerpiece. You want to think about me as a spider weaving a web where I was able to put together pieces in a harmonious way, in a very blessed way for people who are suffering and experiencing pain and bringing families together. And it was a historic event. It involved things that we find in our history books, things I'm excited to talk about, things I'm looking forward to sharing with you. But when big things happen, and in this case, extraordinarily big magic, extraordinarily rare big magic. It's like a brand new baby. You have to protect it for a while. You have to keep it safe. You have to nurture it. All parties have to be in accord about what's being said or what's being done and how it's being said and done. <sighs> I'm not a patient girl. Whenever I'm excited about things, I want to tell the whole world. I want to scream from the highest mountain. Now I have very small following, so it's not like many people really see what I put out there, but it could happen. I could crow from the tallest mountain and, and overnight have a very large following. And so I have to be very honorable with my intentions and my words. So let's get back to the tutorial, a tutorial about Sage. Sage right now is an incredibly controversial subject. It is a situation that I'm seeing spoken on from every imaginable angle that uh, when I was younger, I would have never dreamed of. Some people say when you burn sage, you're inviting demons or dark spirits in. And then other people are saying, well, of course you're inviting them in because you're not supposed to be burning them. And then we have people saying that it's a closed practice, that it's um, an indigenous practice. And to that accord, I would agree to some degree about people who misuse and mishandle sage, which is why I'm doing a tutorial. It's a very sacred plant. It will remove a lot of negative energy from your life if you properly harvest it or the people that you receive it from have properly harvested it. And because it's an indigenous heritage, I actually strongly recommend that we make a way to trading with love, kindness, and generosity with First Nations people instead of going to some shop down the street. But I also don't feel like we should be shaming these shops down the street because I'm quite sure with all this sage that has been burned in the last 20 to 30 years alone, there's probably been a lot of lives that have been made better and healthier for it. Now, fun fact, I'm just gonna share a fun fact with you. Sage kills mold spores. So it doesn't just purify a surrounding. It also releases negative ions into the environment. Negative ions make us feel positive. So 
Scientifically speaking, it serves powerful purpose. And it's a reminder to take care of the land and the origination places where sage is growing and not over harvesting or abusing the plant, which is why it's frowned on. The people who taught me how to smudge were indigenous and they never told me that I couldn't. They encouraged me to. We exchanged with love and grace and sincerity with each other and they honored and respected my work as a ceremonialist. I'm a priestess and I love and appreciate them more than I can even say. And it has been a part of my life for a long time. So the purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to properly work with sage. Okay. A lot of you, you go to the store, you get yourself a big stick, you light this big stick and you like go, you go off, you go, you go off with it. You like, you're choking out the you're choking out. If there were demons in your house, they're dead. They're definitely dead now. <laughs> but it's also disrespectful to the plant. It should actually last you a long time. Now I'm going to show you the bundle of sage that was given to me by my Lakota friends in September. The one that eventually I'll be able to speak on, but until everybody is in proper accord and has had healthy discussion, will be tabled for now. A friend of mine, who if you're seeing this high, said that he might even be able to um, create a Netflix documentary or special on it because it's such a wildly exciting story where spirituality and history and real magic come together as one. And I'm looking forward to that. But they said that he specifically, our fine fellow, and the people who are interested potentially to put it out there, need to come next September for ceremony. And by sitting in ceremony and being introduced to the ways, then maybe everybody will proceed. But it's not one of those things where it will be given willy nilly. These things are incredibly precious and again, need to be treated with extraordinary respect. And um, the person who brought it up is also indigenous and they were very excited to hear that he was the one that they might be speaking to. And they invited him to come and be part of the ceremony. So I'm very much hoping that next year we will all gather together and create something amazing. But I digress. Here's your tutorial. This, right here, this is the bundle of sage I was given, okay? Of the three of us who received bundles of sages on the last day that we were there, I got the smallest bundle. And I knew it was because the two other participants needed more sage. <laughs> they needed a lot of sage. <laughs> so uh, the amount of sage you're given kind of matches your need set. But um, the fine young lady who is going to be doing plenty of ceremony in the near future needs to know how to use her sage wisely and how much is the appropriate amount and so on and so forth so that she can respect the plant. And I said I would give her a tutorial and now you're all part of it together. So when you light sage, you're smudging the environment, okay? Now in the teachings I learned, I was told it was a grandmother plant, which is why it's so generous and so giving. And it's a feminine spirit. Now, like I said, with all the controversy, I've seen people saying multiple other things, but it could also mean other things to other people. So it's one of those things where I just let people say whatever they need to say and I continue moving along. But what I was taught was that it was grandmother. Anyhow, so here we have the sage. <laughs> so this is what you want to do. Okay. You see how much, right? You want to find a piece. This is the piece that's calling me right, right here, right here. Now we're in business, huh? Do you see, do you see? That's how much. You don't need more than this. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why it should last a, a good amount of time. And then next September, I'll probably be given another bundle. At least I hope so. And um, that will probably last me to the next year again. That's using it as you should, which is with respect. Understanding that the power in this is magnified. It's very strong. So now I'm going to light it and I will show you, okay, proper smudging. I'm just going to smudge myself. 
it's Halloween, so what better time than now, right? So in front of me, I have a very large vessel. It's way bigger than I need, but I'm going to be doing uh, another video later and sharing this very large vessel in a very extraordinary way. But you know, I don't want to leave you guys out, so I'm going to show it to you. Be prepared. It's very big. And Ready? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I call a that's what I call a very very large vessel. <laughs> Very large for our tiny little twig of sage. Okay, so I have a candle right next to me. Um, please don't light your sage with a lighter. Light your sage from a candle or from a stick or a twig. That's the best way to respect it. Okay. So as you can see, I've lit it. I'm just going to give it a little tilt, a little blow. Look at, look at how much smoke. Do you see? How generous that is. That is a lot. This is a lot. Okay. Uh, I have parrot feathers because I have parrots at the house. I have duck feathers. I have goose feathers. I have turkey feathers. Okay. So I've been given, oh, by the way, duck feathers uh, represent family, which is a wonderful compliment. So this little tiny twig, if I had the feather, I would take it and I would smudge my forehead and my head and I would go down my body and I would lift both feet and smudge under my feet. And when I'm alone, right, I'm, I'm working for myself, uh, to get my back, I, I take it and I bring it around my head in a circle. And then I actually spin. I spin clockwise. Okay. And uh, sometimes I'll put it down on the floor and I'll step over it. <sighs> and it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful blessing. And, of course, it's, uh, it's an amazing spirit that's in this plant. It's so full of love and grace and and it cares. It cares about your environment. It cares about you, your family. I can't believe that people think that this thing is calling in negative spirits. I mean, it's getting crazy out here. I'm seeing so much strange controversy around ceremony. I kind of understand, though, because they're trying to kind of create a Christian nation all over again, which puts all indigenous people um, in a dangerous place. Uh, to do their ceremonies. I mean, they only have had the legal right to do their ceremonies since I think it was 1978. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll, um, I'll put it down below in the description. Okay. Um, and also you, you guys know I'm a portal jumper. I was, I, I went through a timeline, uh, an actual space where it was in the nineties. They didn't have a the rights to do their ceremonies until the 90s and of course they're trying to go on witch hunts all over again which is really really sad but this is the reason why i think they're um creating propaganda around uh dark negative dangerous spirits around these beautiful practices because these practices are about family and the earth and living in balance and respect so it's mind-blowing to me that this is out of control and i'm hoping that people use their wisdom to understand that they are being manipulated and lied to sorry you're getting a semi-political lesson with the smudge but what better time than when i'm smudging eh anyway this is your the end of your tutorial very very simple and you can see by the way it's it's already starting to kind of get to the end of its cycle i've got a little tiny umbilical thread just kind of moving up the the sage stalk i'm obviously holding it normally i would just lay it down and let it do its thing after i smudge myself i put it somewhere important in the house or if i feel inclined i'll take it room to room it's not always necessary. Most of the time I'm just doing maintenance on my own energy after helping other people or doing healing work on other people. In the case of the beautiful young lady who I'm doing this tutorial for, I suggest you do this as frequently as possible. Again, taking tiny little twigs um, at least once a week because of the fact that you have enemies out there for the work that you're doing and who want to cause you harm. So it's important that you have a very good relationship with this plant and it's why you and your brother were given such enormous bundles they knew the risks you were taking and coming they said multiple times how brave you both were you guys when you get to hear the story it's going to blow your mind and you're going to see how brave not only that these two were but also how brave my friends my lakota friends my family uh and they you know adopted me so yeah i call them family 
everybody who's involved in this story is actually quite brave. And it's a story that's time has come. And this is the time of the rainbow prophecy. So we must gather with love and respect, wide open hearts and minds and great diligence to become a world family again, which is another reason why I'm not for these people speaking on um, closing gates and closing practices, because we're actually supposed to be like a patchwork quilt. We're supposed to be weaving our cultures and our traditions together with respect and love. It's a huge difference between when somebody's mocking a tradition or when somebody's um, practicing one with all the love in their heart and also not being performative, giving back, being of service. And the two individuals here gave back and were of service. And to every possibility that I can, I also give back and am of service. This is all done now, and this is how much is left. It's finally done smoking, and so I just trust it. It's complete, right? And so since it's chosen to be complete at this point, that means that I don't need to um, burn it um, unless I feel sick or weird or off. I don't have to burn it again for maybe even a couple days, maybe even a couple weeks. Again, I'm very conservative with it. I listen to when it's needed. I listen to when my energy is being pulled apart or dragged down or I'm having nightmares. I listen to the connection and the need. And obviously when I'm working with people who I'm doing healing work with or doing ceremony work with, I use the amount that is needed in that case too. But there's no fire alarms going off here. So if you are in a smoky cavern of fire alarms, you're doing it wrong, okay? Respect the plant with a little bit more love. And while you're at it, learn about the people who brought this plant to you and their traditions and their ways and support them and buy from their Etsy shops and Go to a powwow and buy their beautiful jewelry and uh, listen to them drum because the drumming is healing and the songs are healing and ask questions and share stories and be full. And maybe, just maybe, if we do this right, our world family will come together and the rainbow prophecy will be something we live to see. Thank you, you guys. Sending you love, grace, beauty from a giant skull cauldron on Halloween be well. And in the case of this beautiful woman I'm doing this tutorial for, my love, I am with you. You're not alone. Nothing to be afraid of. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and we're going to get this done. Be well.